Hey everybody. Okay, so today I'm going to give you a tour of our room here on Symphony of the Seas. I'm going to do it a little bit differently in that I'm not going to give you that picture perfect look when you first walk in the room. I'm going to show you what it looks like after we've been living in it for about five days now. So come on. So the first thing I want to mention is that you see the door here is magnetic so you can hang little things on it if you like. You could put a dry erase board on it if you want to let people know where you are for the day. That is our puppy C pop tart. We bring her along with us. And to get into your room, you'll just use your little card, tap it, and then your door actually opens out. So let's go inside. The back of your door, you'll see that you have a magnet here. And if you are sleeping and don't want the room attendant to work on your room, you put this on the outside of the door. Or if you do want them to work on your room, you just flip it over. That way they know you're out and they can come in and clean your room. You'll also see a map of the ship on the back of the door and it'll tell you what your monster station is. So ours was B1 and that is on the fourth floor in the theater. So to turn the lights on the room when you come in, you'll see a light switch here. You can turn it on and turn it off. You just press it. However, in order to keep the lights on, you have to have some type of card put in this slot. You see it blinking? It's going to turn my lights off in a few minutes if I don't have a card in this slot. They say you can use your room key, but really you can use anything. You see the lights went out. You really, you can use anything. I happen to have this Olive Garden gift card. If you put the Olive Garden gift card in there, the lights will stay on. So that's just like an energy saving thing that Royal Caribbean does. But I think most people figure it out and put a card in there and it just stays there the whole time. So I don't know how much energy it's actually saving, but just in case you're wondering why your lights cut out, you're gonna wanna make sure that you keep some type of card in there. There is a full length mirror at the door. This is great if you're going out somewhere and you just wanna see what your outfit looks like, right? So actually since our layout, it has the bed first and then the couch, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the bathroom looks like. So this is the bathroom. There are hooks all over the place. So there's a hook right here and you can see I've got my robe hanging on it. And let's go in the bathroom. As I mentioned, there are hooks everywhere. So you can see there's hooks here. I have my personal towel on it. There is a slight step to step into the bathroom, but it's not that bad. So we'll step on up in here. So what you see here in front of you is the shower, uh, also known as the little space capsule. <laughs> and I'll show you floor to ceiling and we'll actually walk in here. I know some people have heard that showers are small. Actually, these showers on Symphony of the Seas are the largest showers in closed capsules that I've personally seen on Royal Caribbean. So I am actually getting in the capsule. So as you can see, I'm in here. Can you see, I'm in here. There is plenty of room, I'll try to angle this camera. All right, you can see there's plenty of room for my shoulders. I'm not touching the door, the wall, nothing. I can get in here and shower. This is removable, hand wand. We like those. And it has three different speeds on it. So you can change that. You can actually move the height of this up or down. Okay, now it's dripping on me. <laughs> I'm getting wet. Um, you have a place over here to put any soap, conditioners, anything you bring. It does come with a hair and body wash, two in one, which you can use if you want. Um, this is best, I would say, for those people. If at home, let me try to focus that. If at home you use the same thing to wash your hair, body wash, this will be fine. Otherwise, you may want to bring your own. And here are your knob controls. This one right here is going to control you turning on um, the water. And this one will control if it's hot or cold. And look, more hooks in the shower. And I don't know if you can see in the mirror here, but you can see me in the actual shower in the mirror. There's plenty of room in here. Also, I am about 5'11", so I'll just show you for those that are concerned about head height. Here's the top of my head, and that's how much more room 
you have all the way up to the ceiling. So I think if you're under seven feet, you'll be fine. So I'm gonna step out of the shower. Now, let's show you, you do have a commode, a toilet, whatever you wish to call it. There is shelf space, it's open shelving. And there's plenty of counter space to store whatever you want. The toilet paper actually does store underneath. However, I prefer to have it on top, but you can change that if you want. Down here, you'll see you have a trash can, a place to store magazines, <laughs> and extra toilet paper, sanitary bag, um, bags, and that is the towel for the floor when you take a shower. And here's the sink. And then you have a big old mirror in here. Plenty, plenty of way to see yourself, excuse me, making some adjustments, okay. And then again, we have the towel rack over here. There is also, I wanna point this out, there is a special trash bin here. And this is for things like sanitary napkins, pampers, Q-tips, things we wanna make sure we don't flush down the toilet. So if you can just put those in here, that's great. You'll see we have a laundry hamper that we bring with us. It was just a dollar from the dollar store. Just helps us keep things neat. All right, and that's the bathroom. So let's start with this cabinet here. So because this is my husband's side of the bed, this is gonna be his cabinet. There's so much storage in here that he can have his own cabinet. So the top of this cabinet is um, wardrobe. And then down here, you're gonna have um, some drawers so let's take a look so you've got hanging storage plenty of hangers and again it's pretty full length close to full length he'll appreciate me showing you his junk i mean his stuff <laughs> anyway um here are just some um open drawers you do get a safe And then, as I mentioned down here, there are two good sized drawers. Matter of fact, so good size, this bottom one, he has nothing in. I'll pull it all the way out. You can see, good drawer storage. So, since I'm over here, let's look at his bedside table. So, he gets a bedside table. Both sides actually get a bedside table, and they are narrow, so I will go ahead and warn you. Both sides also get a bedside table light. So it's like a reading light, but it is pretty bright. Now one thing you'll notice is my husband has a CPAP machine on his side. And if you see his CPAP gear is actually hanging on the wall. So one of the neat things is that, and this isn't most cruise ships, so this isn't specific to Symphony of the Seas, but the walls are metal. And so because of that, you can put magnets on them and hang things. So that's essentially what we've done here. It's just put a magnet on the wall so you can hang um, his CPAP stuff and get it out of the way. I don't know if you can see that. So that's a dragonfly and it's actually part of the headboard in here, but it kind of freaked me out when we first saw it. I was like, what is that? I don't like it. But it's just part of the headboard, it's not real. Um, one thing I will mention, his side of the bed does not have a plug. However, you'll see that on my side of the bed, there is a plug and I'll show you how we make sure that even though his side doesn't have a plug, that his CPAP machine just does get hooked up. Um, I'll go ahead and show you this too. So I mentioned the magnets. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I just got these magnets on Amazon. And they're just little wall magnets. See? You can hang whatever you want on it. You can actually hang them from the ceiling if you want. They rotate. They're very strong. It says it holds up to 55 pounds. I don't know about all that, but that's what it says. All right, so I'm gonna walk around the bed and show you the TV a little bit better. It's actually right here, but let me give you a better view of it. All right. So now I also have to say, this is a pretty big screen TV for a cruise cabin. You see below there is actually storage for you to put books. Um, you can also put your cruise compasses. And because there's a sofa in here, you'll see the TV actually does swing out. So that you can view it from any angle you want. So speaking of angles, I'll show you the sofa real quick. So the sofa is basically, now that I have the TV pulled out directly across from the TV, 
and it's a very comfortable sofa. Um, it's firm so it doesn't sink in. All these pillows are movable. You can lay on it, you can sleep on it. It's really nice. Alright, so now we're on my side of the bed, and I'll show you what I was talking about earlier. So just like on Corey's, I get a little narrow side table, and you see I have a fan. I also have a, a reading light. But you'll see the difference is I have a plug. So a plug is essential, so I can plug in my fan, but my husband also needs a plug. So what we actually carry with us is it basically allows us to extend the plugs so that we can um, plug in more items. And it has USB plugs on it too. So we plug his CPAP in there and my fan in there and then we plug it into the wall and it just allows us to have more things plugged up near our bed. Now I will say Symphony of the Seas is better than a lot of the cruise ships we've been on in that it has more than just one plug in the room all the way on the other side of the room. Um, this is actually next to the bed. So that's great. I wish they had maybe more only because in the world we live in everybody's trying to plug stuff up and they want it next to the bed like people use their phones and alarm clocks and things like that um so i'm not sure why they don't have one on at least both sides of the bed but i am grateful i'll take it i'm glad that they have this when it works out perfectly so now i'm going to show you my storage now mine's different from corey's mine is just a full wardrobe so again you'll see i have plenty of hangers You'll see I did bring some hangers from home and one of the reasons why, as we can see here, is that uh, a lot of times with these wood hangers, my clothes will actually fall off of them. So I prefer these kind of velvet-like hangers I bring them from home. Plus it just makes unpacking a little bit easier. And down here you'll see my suitcase and just some shoes and stuff one thing i do want to mention is that there is plenty plenty of storage underneath the bed so that you can store your suitcases so you absolutely do not need to put your suitcases in here i just did that for my little carry-on because we weren't using all the space and i was like whatever but you can actually store all your luggage under the bed and so you can use all the storage outside to put everything in. All right, so now let's go over here to the vanity. All right, so please excuse my little midday snack. I had a cheese tray, as you can see, cheese, yay. Um, anyway, so what you'll see that we have here is that um, you have your lighted makeup mirror, which is great. You also have um, your desk table. Now you see there's also um, a shelf here for you to store stuff on. Your table where you see our computer and stuff and then it also comes with a chair that pulls out now the neat thing about this table is the table actually pulls out as well so it doesn't have to sit here so what that means is you can use this table here you can use it over by the bed you can use it in front of the sofa you can use it pretty much anywhere I mean I guess you could probably even take it outside if you wanted to but that's nice so you're not limited to uh, just having it sit here in front of the vanity so my husband when he's editing he likes to drag it over to the sofa so let's look at some more storage that we have so here we have a, we have a chest of drawers basically and you'll see up top um, you have plenty of space to put stuff we have our cruise compasses up there they are the, the room books you know all the books always come with rooms so they can showcase jewelry and different ports we may go to and also um, you can get your ice bucket and glasses. Um, you get ice, fresh ice daily if you request it. And so that we store that up there as well. So this is four drawers right here. And you can see they're pretty good sized drawers. And you can put all your storage stuff in here that you want. Um, and there's another drawer up here. I'm not opening all my drawers because they're kind of junky and I'm not wishing to share my junk. <laughs> so the next thing you see here is you have this bigger cabinet. And this is actually where they keep the cooler. And the only reason I'm calling it cooler and not refrigerator is because there is some question as to whether these are just coolers. Are they actually mini refrigerators? 
Um, and so I, I don't know exactly what it is, but I can tell you how you can make it work better. So a lot of people complain that these in the cruise ship, they don't get cold enough. And part of the reason is that there is not enough air circulating behind um, the mini fridge cooler when the cabinet is closed. So if you can see, our cabinet actually is not closed all the way because I use a book down here to keep it slightly open and that allows air to get in there. And so what happens is my stuff actually stays very cold, um, just like it would if it was a regular refrigerator. So I have no problems with it at all. So just a little tip that might help you um, no matter what ship you're on, because I feel like every ship I've been on lately, they're all in cabinets. So um, prop the door open and see if that helps keep it cooler for you. Now there is a keypad out here, but I don't know if they've ever actually officially used these. I imagine maybe when they actually used to fill these um, mini fridge coolers with stuff before, maybe they put locks on to keep kids out or something, but um, there was nothing in this when we got on board. Um, except whatever we've put in it so it wasn't locked. So let me make sure I put the book back. And this book comes with your room as well. <laughs> and then I just close. Alright. Also that mirror is, um, the light on it acts independently of the room lights. So you can have all the room lights off, that mirror on, and vice versa. Alright everybody, so let's go check out the balcony. So first you get your two chairs and they do recline guys all the way down flat and you see they have footstools underneath. I'll show you. Look at that ocean. Yeah. As I mentioned with the chair, it does go back. As you can see. So if you want it to. lay the chair completely down and take a nap. I mean, come on, guys. Who doesn't want to take a nap out in the ocean? You get a table. Just to give you an idea of the space out here, I bring my own camping chair just because it's super comfortable and I love to sit out here and read. There's plenty of room on the balcony if I can get a third chair out here and then still have all this floor space. guys I hope you enjoyed my quick little tour it's beautiful out here I want to go back to reading so don't forget to hit subscribe ring that notification bell that way you'll be notified anytime we put out new content or we're doing a whole series on Symphony of the Seas so make sure you don't miss any of it